Chibao. It literally translates as seven treasures. Legend has it that long ago, Chibao ancient town beheld seven crown jewels. I hereby proclaim that whether it be historical or mythical, old or new, we gonna find us some treasure here in Chibao ancient town. Hi, I'm Noah and I make travel videos exploring China and doing some wild travel challenges along the way. And today, my challenge is to uncover the legendary historical treasures of Chibao ancient town. So where does the name Chibao come from? Many believe that it was simply named after the local Chibao temple. Nonetheless, local folklore has long spoken of the mythical seven treasures of Chibao. True or not, each of these seven treasures carries a dramatic origin tale, deeply ingrained in the culture and lore of Chibao. Some of them are steeped in myth while others carry a genuine history behind them. The Golden Rooster. It said that the Golden Rooster used to crow at 5 o'clock every morning, rousing the laborers and playing a role in driving the prosperity and productivity of this historic township. Myth. The Flying Buddha. One fateful night, a local drunkard claimed to have witnessed a massive object flying out of the sky into the Dongsheng Hall. Subsequently, this temple became renowned for its flying Buddha. Real, at least parts of the story are. Today, you can witness the flying Buddha every Chinese New Year unveiled here at Chibao Temple. The jade chopsticks were handed down by the emperor himself to a local official, believed to possess the power to expel evil spirits. The local official hid the chopsticks alongside a bridge pillar in the north of town. Not the smartest move, as the chopsticks were stolen, leaving behind only a single pair. Myth, the bronze bell. After seven days and nights of a fierce storm, a colossal metal instrument washed upon the shores of the Chibao Temple Gate. Real! You can find the bronze bell hanging in the Chibao Bell Tower today. The Jade Axe. Folks, feast your eyes on Pu Hui Tang Bridge, an architectural masterpiece, and standing atop it, you can get the best view in Chibao Ancient Town. When the townspeople attempted to stack rocks for the bridge, the rocks would always seem to fall until a wise old man intervened. With a humble butcher's meat axe, he miraculously stabilized the rock piles. The bridge was built and the story of the meat axe later transformed in retelling to the jade axe became renowned throughout China. Myth. The Golden Lotus Sutra, a sacred scripture in Buddhist teachings, was written with exquisite golden powder and took a painstaking five years to complete. But once it was finished, it was presented to Chibao Temple as yet another historic treasure. Real! I've been told that the Golden Lotus Sutra is currently held in the Shanghai Museum. The Divine Tree was a thousand-year-old tree that grew its roots right here in the local Chibao temple and earned its reputation as the sacred and spiritual protector of Chibao ancient town, revered for its divine healing properties. Myth. So the challenge continues. Of Chibao's seven treasures, so far I've only discovered the bronze bell that leaves six possible treasures yet to be unveiled. This is what I've been preparing for my entire life. All those Halloweens dressing up as Indiana Jones and Jack Sparrow were just preparation for this moment. I am a man in search of some treasure. If anyone wants to give me this thing, Twin 
七宝好像目前就这七个宝没有了，都没有人见过，因为它主题就是七个宝呀。即使宝再多，有八个、九个，但是一个。社会的习俗啊，七是最好听的。七宝七宝，朗朗上口。七宝七宝，朗朗上口。七宝七宝，朗朗上口。很难，真的很难，因为要看机缘。我们中国人讲那个缘分的嘛，有些东西是强求不过来的，只有在一定时候、适当的时间，就能看到的。这代表着一种强弱之兆，就是你这个人非常的幸运，就或者你这个人身体非常的棒。你万事做什么事情你都很顺心的时候，才有有有有有可能找到这些东西，或者看到这些东西。对啊，是 lucky， 对，哦、oh. ， happy life， forever。七宝的呢，最出名的呢，就是一个七宝酒厂，还有七宝蟋蟀，还有七宝的纺织，还有我们的七宝羊肉，也是一种宝贝。什么叫宝贝？其实跟人有密切关系的就叫宝贝。人类需要它，它就是一个宝，因为我们现在是文明时代的宝贝。My friend brings up a good point, which is that there are actually far more than seven treasures here in Chibao Ancient Town. Maybe investigating some of the other treasures might lead me somewhere on this treasure hunt. So our next stop is the Chibao Cricket Hut, home to some of the country's most intense cricket fighting. Chibao的斗蟋蟀的文化是从那个唐朝就开始了，然后这个地方为什么有名呢？是跟一个皇帝有关，这个皇帝叫乾隆皇帝。那乾隆皇帝呢，在皇宫里面经常会举办这种斗蟋蟀的这种活动，那就会从民间各地呢收集一些有名的蟋蟀。那之前呢，这个条街呢叫富强街，那这个皇帝呢，他的一个御用的这样的一个收集蟋蟀的团队就到了这里。那他有一辆车专门放各种的蟋蟀，没想到路过这里的时候就倒下来了。蟋蟀就逃出来了。逃出来之后呢，七宝这个地方就有很多优良的蟋蟀品种。皇帝喜欢的东西，老百姓也很也会很好奇嘛，那么也会来玩。玩着玩着，这个地方呢，就成了一个斗蟋蟀的一个场地了。Wang and Han have become cherished friends. A trip to Chibao would be incomplete without a visit to their hut and updating them on my progress of my search for the seven treasures. And while I still have yet to discover six of the treasures, they've graciously bestowed upon me a cultural gift more valuable than any treasure money could ever buy. These two shells are Chinese traditional culture. 形式，但是上面写的东西是我们现在比较流行的一个中文用词。那么它的在当下的意思呢，我们就会形容说两就是两个大傻子放在一块儿，就是一个是卧龙，一个是凤雏。那么在古代呢，其实卧龙和凤雏指的是两个非常聪明的人。那么现在是来形容就是一个反讽的一个意思，就是这种很聪明的人形容这两个人是聪明到极端了，然后已经物极必反了，就变成两个。大傻子了，然后背后的意思是显眼包，显眼包其实这个比较好理解，那说的就是一些人他特别爱彰显自己，就是说话啊这些动作特别的张扬，然后在人面前特别爱表现自己，那么他就是个显眼包。然后这个大冤种，那这个东西比较难解释啊。大冤种说的是一个人很倒霉，然后呢在各种事情里边，倒霉的事情都会集中在他身上，而且他自己。无法逃脱这种命运，就到哪他都会很惨，然后被人利用啊，或者是说替别人背黑锅啊，然后他就会成为一个大冤种。当你来七宝的时候，你想找到七宝的七个宝物，我认为你是一个卧龙，对你，你很聪明，你很想去找到这七个宝物。那么你跟我们中国的这个传统文化里边的卧龙凤雏这两个军师是很像的，非常聪明。但是在你拿着放大镜去寻找的这个过程中，你发现很难找到，但是你在找的这个过程中，在别人看来，你用放大镜去找宝物，你就是一个显眼包。但是我相信，你找到最后以后，你没有找到这七件宝物，你就成为了一个大冤种。Will I ever find seven treasures of Chi Bao? Probably not. But listen up, because now I'm bringing the treasure hunt to you. I purchased a box of seven Chi Bao glass treasures, and I've scattered each of them around Chi Bao ancient town. Below in the description, you'll find hints about each 
treasures location. So when you come to Chibao Ancient Town, you have the opportunity to find and keep these treasures for yourself. Through this channel, my goal is not just to connect people worldwide, but to inspire you to explore this beautiful country that is China. Importantly, I aim to make these videos interactive, where you're not just viewers, but adventurers alongside me, uncovering the gems of ancient China. And I think this is the perfect moment to introduce the unveiling of my new online community, a gathering of world travelers who lead with their hearts and tackle challenges head on with the desire, above all, to connect with like-minded souls, the essence of China, and to the heartbeat of the world. It's a community that I call Romates. So if you visit Chibao Ancient Town and discover one of the hidden trinkets, comment down below and say which treasure you found and where you found it with the hashtag Romates. And with that, I'll see you all for our next great China adventure.